Hello everyone. Um, so I know it's quite some time you haven't seen me on my YouTube channel. So I'm back again. Um, actually, in the last couple of uh, months, I have been working up up on upskilling myself and doing my things. But I also at the same time had this thing in my mind to create more content on the channel. So the way uh, the new content is going to come up is going to change a bit. Um, there would be a lot of tutorials and things going to come up. But I, at the same time, I'm also planning to share about my journey and what I'm building and what I'm doing. So this is the first try to do it in a form of a vlog. But I also try to make sure that uh, even if you watch this as an entertainment, it should add some value to you. Uh, you, sh you should be able to learn something after this vlog. So actually, uh, I'm participating in a hackathon. So for the last couple of uh, months, like from December 20, uh, 21, Till now, I'm learning about blockchain technology. So blockchain um, is basically, there are multiple blocks chained together and there is some consensus mechanism to all the computers and all the nodes um, just agree upon. And then that's how it works um, on a broad overview. So I'm actually working on that. So I'm participating in a hackathon. So in this particular vlog, I'll share my experience about uh, this hackathon because it's pretty, pretty good hackathon. Um, I got sponsored to go to Bangalore to attend this hackathon um, up based upon the project, my previous projects which I shared. So they reviewed those projects and they thought uh, it would be really good if we can sponsor this person to come up and build something at a hackathon. So I've participated in a couple of hackathons previously as well. Um, so I'm going to share about those hackathons as well in this journey. So just keep on enjoying and also learn at the same time. All right, let's go. So one of the important thing which everyone should know about participating in hackathon is that what a hackathon is. Um, so hackathon is basically a competitive program uh, which people call it as but I mostly feel it like more of networking event for me it is. So in which um, there are few organizers who organize an event which is around like a day or two day long or sometimes if it is a uh, virtual hackathon it could be uh, a month long or two months long as well uh, which we have seen in the web3 space. So. <clears throat> What happens in a hackathon is that you come up with an idea and uh, you form a team, you network with people, you form a team and then um, your team decides upon brainstorms, on, brainstorms on that idea and then creates a prototype at the end of the hackathon and present it among the few judges. In, uh, while building, you will have a lot of mentorship rounds where you get um, different advices from uh, different mentors who have been in the same or relevant industry so that you can um, make your product better by the day um, it comes to the demo day. So that's basically how uh, hackathon works and at the end of that demo on the basis of what you build, what the idea, what the problem it is solving. Um, there sometimes uh, some hackathons give you some problem statements. Sometimes the hackathons are open end that you can use um, any tech or you can use, um, you can solve any problem. But on the basis of what problem you solve, we're going to judge you. And for the hackathons which already have a problem statement, they judge you upon the base of the solution you have. So that's how a basic hackathon work and there are a lot of winning uh, prizes for the winners and participants and the cool facts which you, uh, they give to you like t-shirts. Um, so usually in these hackathons, if these are overnight hackathons or even like uh, one day, two day hackathons, they sponsor you food and also if it is an overnight hackathon, they sponsor you with the basic accommodation so that if you want to take a nap in the like 28 to 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, then you can quickly take a few naps. So that's how a hackathon works. Now, um, let me tell you about the hackathon which I am participating right now. I have been participated in a lot of hackathons previously. Let me know in the comments if you are interested to know about how I participate in those hackathons and what I build on those or anything like that, then do comment. Um, I want, uh, I'm giving this a try for this way of creating content. So it might be a bit longer video. I'm not sure about it, but let's see. So 
just reached the airport now my flight is about uh, to on board so there is i guess uh, 15 20 minutes left for that and um, after that i'm going to be uh, fly for bangalore uh, the hackathon is tomorrow i'm going to uh, go there a day before uh, because it's tomorrow in the morning early morning so i want to get prepared for that reached Bangalore just now and going to take all the bags so I got two one for the laptop bag uh, of course which weighs more than the what I thought and one another bag for all the clothes and everything So the hackathon is about to start, there's still some time left for the, to start. Um, now everyone is just trying to make form teams or if someone has already have a team, they are just planning out what to do next. Um, I'm as of now thinking about um, either I should have a team or not. I already have an idea as I told before. So the idea is about uh, a blockchain based donation platform. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Um, I have a few designs ready for the web view. Um, but I'm gonna add the functionalities and features in this hackathon. I don't feel that it's a lot of work to have a teammate, not sure, but probably like I'll be alone building it. But, um, so yeah, let's see. these waves come and go so I know what it feels like. I was uh, still a student when the 1999 crash happened. Um, I saw a lot of companies being built um, in the early 2000s. Yes, uh, we are building since like eight months now and I was in my room, everyone here were in their room, remote team and we never saw people, actual people. So it's terrifying for me to like come here and speak in front of you. And uh, yeah, so he had to speak here and uh, really tell you please work with us because devs are like really hard to get and we've been trying i'm not making this shit up but we threw like a party like two weeks ago and uh, we invited a lot of devs but they just came there for drinks and we're like <laughs> shit and i was told not to use the word shit and other words on stage but habit uh, twitter crypto but uh, that's what happened and we were told that i was told that i needed to print more t-shirts and stickers in order to just attract you to build on us, uh, on Brahma. We didn't do that, sorry. Uh, but we have 3000 USDC, so that's there. And so that's the whole uh, ecosystem in crypto. So you can be, so what I learned essentially was not to be a maxi. I was a Bitcoin maxi. I still am, to a certain extent. I still think Bitcoin is the best, uh, the only decentralized app, like chain out there. 
uh, other others have some leaders, right? It's not leaderless. So something happens to Vitalik, Ethereum just goes down. Something happens to Solana founders, if they go and shit post on Twitter, 30% down. No one wants to build on them. So that's why I still think Bitcoin is like the most decentralized <coughs> chain. But I would not be yeah. like I would not fall into the trap of uh, tribalism. Like I would experiment with everything right now. Doesn't matter which chain it is. Like just build right and have fun. And that's what we do at Brahma. We just have fun every day. And I'm not saying this because some HR told me to do this. We don't even have HR. I have like literally three emails, different emails, so we pretend we have HR. Uh, we're not, not making this up. Uh, so once, like if you were to work with us, you get like different emails and it's just me like messaging, pretending we are a big company. Uh, we are nine people and uh, but before I introduce the people, we literally made this slide like in 20 minutes because I was getting formed by Romit that I need to build the slides in Mansi and that's what we did. But what I want you to take away from this amazing presentation is uh, just don't be uh, in one tribe. Just try to build everything. Don't get into hatred. If you go to my Twitter, I'm not going to tell you my handle. But I was so toxic. I was shitting on Ethereum people. I was saying it's a scam because I was in this tribe of Bitcoiners. And uh, yeah. So that's my recommendation. Don't choose one chain, but I would still focus on decentralization. I would not focus on oh, build fast, move things because there are a lot of money riding on this. We saw this with Terra, right? The whole focus there was just need to move fast, just need to ship, and we have this FOMO of features that you kind of attract people, right? That's where uh, there's a line between uh, technology and Ponzi. So that's what we have to remember every time we are building and we are trying hard to do that. So if you were to like start your journey into crypto, these are the things I should focus on, I would focus on. And so just finished with the lunch and now I'm working upon my idea. So it's the build time already started there, 24 hours. Um, so and the, the hackathon completes tomorrow at 1.30, like the hacking part. After that, they would be pitching and everything goes. Um, so right now my plan is to uh, work upon the feature I thought of. So I had a few uh, uh, talks uh, with different builders in this uh, space and also a few uh, mentors and a few bounty and sponsors and everyone. So I've been discussing my idea with them that what I'm building. So as of now, I am getting a decent response from them um, that most of them say that this is interesting so if something is interesting to the people the next thing i'm looking for is uh, if it is usable by them or if they would love to use it because there are sometimes some ideas which people love to uh, listen about or to get fascinated easily but maybe they are not um, get much interest um, not much usable or not much feasible to use um, so that's what i'm doing uh, but actually uh, it looks like that those ideas are still like the idea which i am working on is called gift matic it's quite usable and people are interested in it so now i'm working on a feature where um, so people can donate their nfts so how the flow would be i've been thinking about the flows and how uh, what are the action steps i have to take uh, step by step to complete this feature planning so i was working on the planning part for an hour uh, now i'm working on the testing part so that's how um, you should work as well um, in your day to day challenges you have to break down a challenge into smaller parts smaller parts let's say first you plan about your thing that what you want to do and when you decide what you want to do you should always be confirmed about why you want to do something so once what uh, why you want to do something and what you want to do is clear the next step you should be how you should do it how um, you can do it in the best manner to save a lot of time as well so and also what are the next actionable steps to follow what is the flow for this feature for example if i am adding an nft buy or donate feature then what is the flow who's going to initiate a transaction who's going to do next steps um, what are the challenges involved so i have been brainstorming about this it it may sound a lot of like a theoretical part to do but once you have that clarity the clarity part which is the most important thing once you have the clarity you get speed out so you have to spend an hour to invest in an hour uh, on 
planning and then executing and it would be the best thing to do um, and once you have planned once um, you got the right actionable steps now you have to verify your plan because you are not the uh, uh, the plan master here you are not the one who plans and everything will work accordingly so for that what i'm doing i'm going to show you right now so i planned about a few things now the next step is to like if i have created some sub points like this one i'm numbering here you can see so now when, if i've created if i'm creating some sub points now my next thing to do is um, to verify each sub point if that is feasible to do because i am thinking that that's how it should be done so what i'm doing i'm trying to write code snippets for that particular sub point and just verifying it testing it that it should work uh, in that way or is it even possible to do so because sometimes um, I'm thinking of a feature that should be available, but I'm not sure how that is going to be done or how is it is it possible to do with the current infrastructure. So that's what I am doing, trying to invoke some smart contract functions and everything. So I'm verifying my points. Once I am verified with the points which I have to complete, then I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to do step by step as well. Then I'm going to execute. It's first um, what you want to do, why you want to do, how to do the plan, the actionable steps that this, this, this I'm going to follow, then verify those actionable steps that if they're going to work or not for you. Once you have done all these things, now you're good to build and you, your speed would be 10x. <laughs> everyone so uh, most of the hacking time is already finished like it's um, around four hours left uh, after the 24 hours or 20 hours already done and i'm also like mostly done with uh, the project itself so um, i've been working on that donation platform so i've scaled that platform to support for nfts now uh, essentially like people who want to donate um, nfts um, can do that on the platform so what happens is like someone picks um, the NFT they have, um, they approve for that NFT and then uh, transfers it to the smart contract and then smart contract organizes auctions to sell those NFTs and um, once someone buy that NFT it just transfers uh, the money accordingly um, and also uh, incentivize the users with the gift tokens. Um, I'll have enough time if I, I can give three hours to the presentation and everything preparing for that pitch then still i have enough time so i think um, i'll be taking a rest of half an hour yeah started uh on dsx along with neeraj who is my co-founder of the four uh a little over four years back uh but was in this space uh from 2016 and uh back then uh, there was not uh, much excitement about this place. Now I think uh, I can see the energy here. Most of the events are not going to be And if you talk to someone, ki, you know, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do Lot of challenges, right? Uh, so, very this space which was limited to very specific set of people. Now I think the community has grown multifold. And people openly talk about it, discuss it. We have events like this. So, uh, you know, we have come a long way from there. And Neeraj and I, we both, uh, so what got me excited about the space? So I don't know like how many of you experienced this, but generally in 2016, 17, uh, like four or five friends we were just sitting in a room discussing about.